Ladies and gentlemen of the general public, I'd like to take some time out of your day to make this official announcement, this official statement, that I, Legorox99 Gaming, am finally on Team Tank, and the all-in for Dolin train. Okay, that was a very overreactive way to start this video, but I'd like to preface this by saying that I don't really know what's going to happen, and I don't really know what I want to happen at this point, because taking a look at the Canucks, and taking a look at who our top point guys are, our top point guys on the Vancouver Canucks right now are Brock Besser, Sven Berchi, and Bo Horvat. Besser has 27 points in 27 games, Horvat's got 20 points in 28 games, Berchi has 18 points in 30 games, and Vanek is also tied up there as well. Taking a look at the top goal people for our team, Brock Besser leads the team in goals with 15, Horvat is second with 10, Berchi is third with 8, and Derek Dorsett is tied with Vanek with 7, but Dorsett has played 10 less games. What does this translate into? Well, it translates into the fact that the Canucks' top four goal guys, three of them are not on the team anymore. Because Bo Horvat, he's out for up to six weeks with an ankle injury. Sven Berchi, he got sent back to Vancouver to check up on his face. He got a really nasty puck right to the face from the hands of Mark Giordano against the Flames, and he won't be playing against Winnipeg. Derek Dorsett, on the other hand, well, he had to retire. So, that leaves the Vancouver Canucks in kind of a hole, because if you look at the points, you look at the goals, you look at the players that we got, you look at the talent, you look at where the production was coming from these players, our most offensively productive players are gone. Bo Horvat and Sven Berchi, two out of the three Bs on the BBB line, are out. Derek Dorsett, who was our best goal scorer for a while, is out. And Brock Besser is the only one left who can really step up and be like, yeah, I'm gonna score a whole bunch of goals. It's him and, like, Thomas Vanek. And Vanek, we all know what's going on with Vanek, he's kind of okay. I mean, he's been playing decently in most of the games, but I'm worried. And I'm worried about Brock Besser. Because you look at how well he was playing in the games where he had Horvat and Berchi. You take a look at the BBB line, and you take a look at what they were able to accomplish as a line of young players, and they're injured now. Like, that sucks. I was making that BBB video like a few weeks ago, thinking, okay, this is going to be one of the best seasons for Bo Horvat, and now you take a look at the, the, what's going on today, and you look at it, and you say, oh my god, they're all injured. Oh my goodness, so the hope here for me is that Brock Besser does not become a Clayton Keller, and Clayton Keller, if you look at his game logs over the past few games, you can see that he's really not getting any points anymore, and ah uh, man, I don't want that to happen, I just don't want that to happen to Brock Besser, because Clayton Keller, we all know that he started off the season fanatically. And he was the guy who was going to win the Calder. He was absolutely on fire to start off the season. He had 15 points in the month of September. But October came around and the whole month passed and it turns out that he only got two goals and four assists in the month of October. Six points in however many games the Coyotes played. So that is really what threw him off. Of the whole Calder race, because now it's like, oh, it's Besser and it's Barzal, it's the it's one and two. Keller is no longer in the picture in the minds of many hockey fans. Taking a look at November, he's at two points. I mean, they've only played four games. Keller has two assists in those four games in this month. But Clayton Keller is at 23 points right now. 15 of those were in the first month, and he's really taken a drop in his production, and you can blame many things. You can blame, oh, it's the Coyotes as a team. They suck. Oh, it's 
Clayton Keller's line mates, they're not there for him. Oh, it's Clayton Keller's individual effort is not there. You can say whatever you want, but the fact is, Clayton Keller's first month was significantly better than the rest of the season that he's having right now. And, personally, I wish the best for Clayton Keller. I really want him to, like, step up the pace, and I want him to become a really good, like, maybe 40-50 point guy of this season, because I like having younger guys showcasing their talent and whatnot. But, I fear for Brock Besser, because... The potential for him to have the same collapse that Clayton Keller is in the midst of right now? It's... it's increasing, man. I mean, Horvat, you take away Horvat? Okay, that's a hit to Besser's value and his ability to put the puck away. That's a hit to Besser's capabilities of getting points. That's a hit to Besser's likelihood of getting points. Now you take away Sven Berchi, and... oh my goodness... Berchi is one of the most underrated players on the team. He was the third most point guy on the team. And you take away him too, so that just leaves Besser. He's going to be playing with guys like Gagne. He's going to be playing with guys like Granlund. Granlund, I mean, he had a really good, like, feed right over to Besser. Like, I won't discredit him for that because that was genuinely really good. But Granlund has six points in 29 games. Looking at everybody else, all the other players who most likely will not be playing with Brock Besser, the Sedins, they're at 17 points each, Vanix is at 18, Louis Erickson is at 11, Gagne, who will most likely be playing with Besser, he's at 11 points, and Bo Horvat was a much better player in terms of everything in comparison to Gagne. Gagne had a bad game last game. Horvat's really good defensively, and he's able to skate with the puck. His passing could use some work, but there's a reason why Horvat and Besser have been playing together for so long. And I'm so scared that Brock Besser will become another Clayton Keller, and people will be looking at Besser down the line, and he'll say, Oh, he got 27 points in his first three months, but the rest of the season, he only got five points. Like, I don't want that to happen. It's not even because of the Calder race too. It's not even that I don't want Barzal to win it. I I don't care how well Barzal does. If Barzal deserves the Calder, he'll win the Calder. That's great. But I don't want our development of the young guys to get hit by this so hard. Because we knew that the injury bug was always in there for the Canucks. We always knew that it lay dormant within the Vancouver Canucks. And it's finally starting to strike at our guys. First, it took out Derek Dorsett completely. He's gone. He's never playing a game in the NHL again. Then, it took away Bo Horvat for six weeks. Six weeks? He won't be playing until 2018. Oh my goodness. Then, it took away Sven Berchi, and he just got off of the road trip. We don't know how long Berchi's going to be out for, but if it's out for any significant amount of time, then we're in trouble. We are in trouble, and we are all in for Dolan at this point because we got no good players who can consistently, on a day-to-day -day basis, put up points and score goals. You can say that the Sedins and Vanek and Erickson are doing that. Awesome. But they're not good enough to carry an entire team's worth of players who isn't able to score anyways. Like, Granlin and Gagne and all these other guys, they can't score. They can't score as much as the guys that should be able to score can. And they can't carry a team that is just a whole bunch of guys trying to settle in defensively because no, we need offense as well in order to create good opportunities to win games. And when we got guys who are number one, two, three, and four in goals, who are starting to not be as good because number three, number two, and number one are all injured. Oh my goodness. I just don't want to put all this pressure on Brock Besser because I love the guy, and I love him as a fan of the Vancouver Canucks, but I'm scared. I'm really scared, and I don't know what to do. I don't know what to think. I guess we'll realize everything, and we'll figure things out by the time the Canucks play the Jets tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be looking forward to that game for sure. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Plus, you can download your trolls like Nascar, and Gaming, and bye.